Influencer fraud is more widespread than you think. In fact, a recent study estimated that fake influencers will cost brands 1.3 billion in 2019, which if you ask me, is quite a lot of money. So in this video, we're gonna tackle the whole problem. We're gonna take a look at how you can spot them so hopefully you won't lose 1.3 billion next year. Right, so if you haven't slept behind a couch, uh, you're probably well aware that influencer marketing is quite a huge thing and, uh, you know, a lot of money involved. Coming right from me, a fairly small, actually super small, I don't want to say the word, influencer. I made about five or six thousand dollars this year alone only from influencer gigs, just to give you some perspective. And the data speaks for itself. Over 63% of people trust influencers more than celebrities just because they're more trustable, more relatable. Of course, now you could say a couple of things. For example, a lot of influencers are not exactly relatable. But, you know, who am I to tell? And second of all, my friend says, a lot of them are just fake. I tell you how it is in various forms, actually. You know, there's first and foremost, the ones that fake their numbers. And I can tell you a lot of, I wish I could tell you a lot of stuff, because, you know, I'm in the industry, I know quite a lot of people, and I know a lot of people, for example, people that almost have 100% of their followers being fake, including all the engagement, everything just being fake except for, I don't know, 100 people. Then I know some people who have like 50-50, you know, they have, let's say they have 300,000 followers, but 150 of them are fake. Uh, how do I know that? Just because they tell me. Also, I know somebody in the scene uh, who you might know, I don't know, but who had to pay back big amounts of money from a huge campaign in a out of court settlement just because they uh, figured out, all right, his followers are not quite the best. And they actually figured out, of course, they're fake. And then there's, of course, those that fake their lifestyle. For example, shopping, you in front of the Eiffel Tower or some city or, you know, kind of make the background a little bit more bendy than it usually should be. And of course, people that just look way differently in real life than they do in, um, you know, on their Instagram feed and wherever. And actually, my friends, I remember, you know, because we're, we're friends here. I remember first time somebody approached me on the street. It was about a year ago or something like this. He told me it was a he. He told me, oh man, you totally look way worse in real life than you do in on the internet. You know, that's just, Sometimes that's just the way it is. All right, so of course this video features uh, only the one side about, you know, the fake influencers, all these things. And don't get me wrong here, my friends. Of course I know there's two th sides to a story. Of course I know it's not only the influencers who are the bad party here because it happens that, uh, you know, I'm in the scene and it happens that I know there's a lot of uh, companies trying to rip off influencers. So we're gonna make a whole different video about, you know, if you're an influencer or you wanna be, become an influencer, um, you know, what you can do to up your chances of getting brand deals and uh, actually what you can do to negotiate better brand deals. Because I believe a lot of people, especially real influencers, stuff like this, um, kind of don't get enough what they would deserve, but we're gonna make a separate video about this So first starting off if you're a company who's trying to figure out if this influencer is fake or not First of all, you know watch this video. What's well, first of all subscribe to this channel my friends. <laughs> I totally forgot that here um, And second of all, you know ask of course for screenshots ask for screenshots about the stats You know what's going on and not just ask for one or two stats Try to ask for specific stats. You know, maybe you can find a pattern. Maybe you can see progress. Ask for stats of a picture a year ago. Then ask for a stat of this picture and then ask for stats for this other picture. So maybe you can see growth or you can see some patterns. And of course, if the influencer is real and did not fake anything or a lot, of course they're gonna send you the stats for that. So there's that. But still, I know how it's like. You wanna know some other metrics to figure that out without asking the influencer. So the first thing that you wanna ask yourself whenever you stumble across a profile of a so-called influencer is reflect on if this is possible. You know, by that I mean, you know, is this really possible that this person has gathered this amount of followers? Because chances are, if people have followers, they have done something for, you know, for anybody. You know, they've achieved something. They give a lot of value out. They provide entertainment, stuff like this. Maybe they have their fame or their influence. They brought that back over from another platform, for example, YouTube. So another thing is to cross check every, you know, different platforms. And don't get me wrong, it's a hard thing to tell because I know some huge Instagrammers who can't convert over to YouTube, who have like small YouTube channels. 
I, on the other hand, know some huge inf uh, YouTubers who don't have anything going on on Instagram. So, you know, kind of be aware of that. Because, you know, chances are if they have some real fans and followers and some real influence, uh, chances are they do, don't just post random pics on Instagram and that's about it. You know, no one's gonna get, you know why? Because it makes no sense. Of course, nice picture, nice feed, but still, it's more, it's more than that, my friends. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. Coming right from that is actually take a look at their community because chances are if they have an influence, they do have a community going on for them, you know, meaning check out their comments first and foremost. What's going on in their comments? Can you see repeating patterns? Always the same comments, always some lackluster comments of people who are not really there, you know, who are not really interested in uh, the influencer. Or is there really something going on? Is there is there a lot of comments, really unique comments that kind that spark conversations that have something going on, kind of like a tribe even going on for them? If you see that. Uh, chances are they might be real and if you don't see that if you only see nice keep up the good work my friend and stuff like this You know uh, Probably red flag alert here. Of course if you try if you want to be the Sherlock here uh, Try to find patterns uh, go, go through the people who comment. Maybe you can see something, you know Maybe it's always the same people who comment or similar people who comment uh, Maybe you can see they're in an engagement group and I know some influencers who do have a fairly okay -ish Follower base on Instagram like say 15,000 followers So that's kind of okay to start with and you know They get like five comments and all of a sudden they have like 30 50 comments and if you track back most of them are from engagement groups and you know you know, th those times are over. I tell you how it is. Another thing is to actually check their demographics. And it's kind of hard to really tell their demographics. And first of all, you could just go through their fathers one-on-one and just, you know, take an hour of your time. Maybe you have an intern in your company who could do that for you. Um, or you, you want to hire me to do that for you to spot fake influencers. You know, just putting that out there. Actually, never thought about that. Actually, a good idea. If you want to hire me to check out if influencer is legit or whatever. Uh, hit me up. You're gonna find a way. Anyway, uh, go through their followers plus uh, the demographics. I did a video, kind of a similar video based around that topic. Uh, I'm gonna link it here, here, here. I don't know. <laughs> Still, I don't know. I talked about this tool called Hype Auditor and I'm not 100% sure if it's like 100% correct, but it's actually pretty good data to see, okay, are most of the followers from Brazil. Not that there's anything wrong with Brazilian people, of course, you know, <laughs> of course not, but you know, the stats have just shown us that a lot of those fake bot followers are from Brazil or India, of course. Uh, there's people, I talked to some uh, people in India and they told me they have kind of like side hustles going on. They go in an internet cafe and have like this huge, a lot of phones there and you do all these weird things. So, you know how it's like. Also, uh, sponsored posts, you know, chances are if you want to spake a spot, spake a fought fence, well, if you want to spot a fake influencer, you, you're thinking about making some sponsored thing with them. And uh, here's the thing, take a look, did they ever do another sponsored post or not? And um, if yes, what kind of thing is it? Is it just some random weird small product that you can get for a 15% off coupon code, stuff like this? Or is it some real brand who's trying to, where you can see strategy behind it, where you can see the content, stuff like this. Um, you know, just always reflect on, think a little bit, could this whole thing really be true? Yeah, basically, basically these are, these are the tips that really, really always, you can always tell uh, when going through a profile looking at these things it's the things that I just talked about right now And uh, you know if you don't want to be a fake influencer if you really want to Get stuff going on if you don't want to rely first and foremost on you know influencer gigs But build your own personal brand I do have a mentorship program going on where I take you by the hand And we're gonna build your Instagram your YouTube your whole personal brand whatever is necessary I'm gonna pull you through I'm gonna show you every necessary step along the way uh, to make things work for you and um, Yeah, if you're interested in that uh, we only have a few spots available actually right now. We're almost full again. Just hit the link down below Hey Dominic.com uh, fill out the application and we can hop on a free call and we can talk about your strategy what's going on right now totally for free anyway my name is Dominic um yeah thanks for watching <laughs> bye bye